Both these teams have a fine balance of inside grunt and outside skill through the midfield and a defence that's growing together. I can't wait to see how this unfolds. He runs into the goal. Hands like dinner plates. Strong mark. Gets put to high. Lucy grab for Pablo. Look at the acceleration. Kick looks good. Then going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short tactically this week. Bennell will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. The game officially underway now. Bennell has got a lot of tricks in his bag, which makes him so very hard to stop. He's always got an amazing highlight reel. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Thompson with the mark. Lynch couldn't hold on to that one. He kicks the ball out of congestion. He spills the mark. A rushed kick. He takes an uncontested mark. Day running like a corner. Day is a very intelligent guy. He always seems to make the right decision no matter what's happening on the field around him. Good tap from Day. Ball is hammered towards goal by Pablo. Just fell through. That's three in a row for Gold Coast. Gold Coast can take a breath now. They're three goals up. Prestia with space now. Matiric with an accurate drop punt. Matiric getting his first. The Suns could score. The last four goals. The Suns by four goals. The Magpies, they're only applying token pressure in the ruck. It's just not good enough. And as a result, the opposition are winning the match. He boots it. Tuvi gets the bouncing ball. He takes a strong mark. He puts power behind that kick. Goldsack with the ball. Dishes it off by hand. Missed. They really needed a goal there. The Magpies are really under the gun here. Brown drops it. He boots it from the pack. He controls the bouncing ball. Chalk up a goal for Gold Coast. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. Grundy taps. The call was made and the mistake followed. And there's the siren. And we're back for the second team. Great bounce. Punched by Nichols. Stolen. When it comes to bad decisions, that one's got to rank up there with drinking too much and phoning an old girlfriend. He collects the loose ball. Amara gathers it as he finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. Scoops up the ball. Out of bounds. On the full. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Out of bounds. He's missed the lot. Brings it out of the pack. The ball spills to Riscatelli. Accelerated. Riscatelli is so creative that the coach has given him the freedom to experiment and take the game on knowing that he is all class. Bounce is dead straight. Guided by Grundy. Prestia shoots off the handball. Hadlip with the kick. That's controlled the bouncing ball. Cinderella gets to the ball faster than this goal. When you look at the shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. The Collingwood forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a chance. 
Plenty of space for an easy uncontested mark. Reed with an easy mark. He steadies now in front of goal. Couldn't ask for much better than this. It's an easy shot here. The umpire has bounced the ball. Clean tap by... He picks up the loose ball. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. He takes that one on the chest. Slams it on the boot. And the match will be played. Reed presents and takes the mark. Going for goal number two. Perfect kick. That's number two. The Thracks have a fair shot at this one. Nichols made with the football. Takes that one strongly. He takes the ball for a run. Goes it off to McKenzie. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Almost the pair. A big stretch. Going for goal number three. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. The Suns leads by 29. He gathers the loose ball. Controlled by Omar. Well, half time. I forgot to say it. Looks like the players are ready for this. Let's get started. Nichols, I haven't seen him for a while. He gains possession. The ball hits him right on the chest. The contest, no match for him. So what are his chances from here? It might just be too far out for him, Dennis. Definitely a contender for Mark of the Day. Reed aiming for the goals. Drop pan sails, laces out between the two uprights. Bounce straight down. Guided down nicely by the Ruckman heard a call just from the wrong player. The bouncing ball is controlled. Time drying up with only two minutes to go. Swallow always Fire sits on the shoulders and he doesn't use his hands. He's got great technique. A shocker of a kick. Nice strong mark. Cradles the ball well. Brown sends one up towards the wing. McKenzie trying to pick up some Dad pace and hasn't got. The Ruckman battle for position. Grundy with the tap. Omara <coughs> just happened to be in the oh. right place for that one. Grundy with the tap. Kendall is just out of reach then. McKenzie with the football. <coughs> Holding the ball. He holds it too long, and that'll be a free kick. Nichols picks up the loose ball. Fire! Hands there as he holds that one. The kick is put out to space. Lynch wants the ball. He keeps it in play. Picks it. The ball hits him right on the chest. The Suns have been dominant in the air and are marking everything. Now you need to stop trying to mark the Suns and just get a fist into the contest. Swan with great hands. A nice bit of power there. He claims the ball. Would you back him from here, Tom? I don't know if he made the distance, Dennis. Got pump for goal. That's number four. A dead straight bounce. Grundy. A favorable bounce. Prestia runs. Hastily kicked. The mitts out and hold on to it. Fire! It all hits. Ben captures. He kicks quickly. Brown works. Goes up the line. Chest mark to the table. And there's the siren. It's time for the final corner. More bounce than a dodgy chip. Grundy with the tap. Puts the foot down. Handball short. Quick travels nicely. Lynch Fire! takes the mark. Goal. This kick stretches the lead. 
Gold Coast, right 23. Right place, right time. Ablett has a motor that just won't quit. Only two minutes Fire! to go. Riscatelli gets the ball. Dixon shoots for goal. Could not have kicked that any better. Grundy taps it. Pendlebury controls. Nice mark under pressure. Fantastic goal by Freed. Five goals means you've dominated your opponent. Time for a new one. The ball bouncing well. Grundy hits it. Arches the back as he goes for a run. Prestia has his feet firmly placed on the ground, and he's a great leader around the club. With the 92nd mark, Matira marks it. He lines up for goal. Matira kicks for goal. The goal for the Suns. The bounce, laser straight. Tapped by Grundy. Gets the loose ball. Caught by Brown. Picture perfect drop punt. He takes that one on the chest. Reed shoots for goal. The drop punt settles between the big sticks. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Rooted by Tivik sticks out his hands and collects the ball. <laughs> by Adler. He gets a kick out of the pack. Slips up the bouncing ball. Oh. Grundy knocks it down. Gathers the ball. It comes off hands. Chesky dives and hits the ground with the ball. Day drops it. Brown gets the loose ball. Riscatelli having no trouble taking that one. Going for goal number two. It's gone out. Dangerous spot near the goal. A good mark under the circumstances. Heads up the corridor. Marks. The match is almost over. Just waiting on the siren. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. The final score stand at the Suns 60, Collingwood 43. Reed taking the honours of best on ground. He hasn't stopped running today. If you checked in, you'd probably find a third lung. That's all for us. Thanks. For Standing on the ocean.